So today we are going to discuss about sounding pipe, its requirement and regulations. What are certain criteria and regulations? Uh, often uh, you may encounter sometime a question on this topic from the surveyor. So you can see this is the sounding pipe. This is the striker or the datum plate. We have already covered about striker plate, why it is and what is the significance of striker plate in a previous video. Okay, you can watch that. Uh, this is the allege that the empty space, how much the filled, this is down as the allege. This is the depth of the liquid. This is op the sounding pipe is open from the bottom. Okay, uh, its thickness would be around 30, not uh, less than 32 mm. And uh, in uh, there are some spaces in refrigerated compartment if it is passing, it has to be more thicker of 65. So we go and look at the exact text about sounding pipe. Sounding pipe are provided to all tanks and compartment not readily accessible. So means human entry is not there and are located so that the sounding are taken in the vicinity of the suctions that is at the lowest point of the tank. So suction is generally from the bottom. So this is also uh, from the lowest portion. Okay, the lowest portion is cut. You can see here the lowest portion is cut over here. Each sounding pipe is made as straight as possible. Remember, because we are taking the sounding, this you must have done. Everyone, every marine engineer in his lifetime must have taken sounding. And is led above the bulkhead deck, except in some machinery space. You may find in machinery space beside engine room and all those things, uh, like a scavenge tank, scavenge drain tank, uh, all those uh, uh, tanks. Uh, those sounding pipe end in engine room only. Okay. Uh, a minimum bore of 32 mm is general required by sounding pipe but where they pass through refrigeration space means refrigeration space it will be much colder so but uh, so in that case to allow for icing because once the icing will form it will try to occupy more space a minimum bore of 65 mm is required so there you will find 65 mm where the temperature is at 0 degree celsius or less underneath the sounding pipe a striking plate is provided so here you find this is a striking plate that is provided where the sounding rod drops in the bilge well etc. Sometimes a slotted sounding pipe is fitted to indicate the depth of the liquid present and the closed end must be substantial to allow the sounding rod striking it regularly. Okay, now sounding pipes are small bore mild steel pipe used to measure the quantity of fluid in the tank or a hold bilge. The pipe allows a tape or the sounding rod to pass through to the bottom of the hold deck sounding pipe pass through the weather deck and are fitted with screw down caps so here there there you will find screw down caps sounding pipes for engine room double bottom tanks are fitted with self closing cocks all the tanks that are there in the so all the sounding pipe that are there in the engine room you must have seen a hefty weight outside and then the closing arrangement when the weight falls though the sounding pipe closes and then an extra second protection of cap is there screwed Screw down caps are fitted on the top of the sounding pipe. These caps should never be mislaid or replaced with wooden plugs. So this is the safety. The self closing cock on engine room sounding pipe should never be tied open. Okay, the self closing must not be tied open. With due supports pipe travel to the bottom of the compartment and end 3 uh, to 5 cm from the bottom. It is open at the bottom to allow liquid to enter the pipe and seek same level as in tank. Various patent tank sounding devices are available and can be fitted in lieu of sounding pipes as long as they satisfy the requirement of the classification society. Okay, so these are general terms. So few things only you are uh, supposed to uh, remember over here is that in the general design you see that sounding pipe is nothing. So it must be able to allow the sounding tape to go inside and measure the tank. It is open from the bottom. It is cl uh, as close as to the suction, but it must always be in the opposite side of the suction pipe. Okay, there you have a striker plate where the bob comes and strike. Okay, the significance of striker plate is already covered. 32 mm minimum. Uh, there must be a self-closing arrangement at the top with a counterweight and then we have a screwed down cap is provided there and then uh, it must be 32 mm in the bore size and if it is passing from the refrigerated compartment then it must have 65 
uh, mm at least for the icing to take place okay if it is zero degree or below than that okay so these are some general requirement for sounding pipe i hope it is clear for you thank you so much